All right, so today's video is uh, gonna show you guys how to install the new version two that's laser engraved of our magnetic measuring tool on a TAPCO or Vanmark brake. So it's gonna be demonstrated on the TAPCO brake, but the same steps will apply to the Vanmark brake. For this installation, obviously, you'll need our uh, Innova Tools measuring uh, toolkit. You'll need a measuring tape to calculate the middle of the brake, a Sharpie or a pen to mark the center of the brake, a 532nd Allen key or wrench. You can, as an option, you can have a C-clamp if you want a, an extra set of hand to hold the bar in place while you're drilling. You'll need safety glasses because we'll be doing some self-drilling in the aluminum. And then you'll need a drill or impact with a number two square bit to uh, do the drilling. So the first step will be to uh, prop up the bottom hinge on a horizontal position. I typically find that the box that the tool kit is sent in is actually just the right height for that. So prop up the hinge on the horizontal plane. Next step will be to find the middle of our brake. So obviously measure the full length, divide that, divide that in two, and that'll give you the middle. I know that this brake is 126 inches long, so I'll be marking 63 inches to show the middle. So that will be my center point. Next step, we'll take the uh, zinc coated steel bars that are part of the kit. So you'll notice there's four bars, they're all the exact same. And you'll notice too that the holes are offset. They're not, this one's not right in the middle, these ones are offset. This is intentional. This is in case that you have the factory plugs on a brake, you can rotate so that you clear those plugs out of the way if needed. So if you have a 12 footer, you'll start with the extension kit that, that is two feet long, and that one will have the hole perfectly in the middle. So you'll start with the center hole in the, on your center mark, a foot on each side, and then you'll keep the process going in like we did with this uh, 10 and a half foot brake. If you have a 14 foot brake, you'll do one two foot extension on the left, one two foot extension on the right, and then you start with the installation of the rest of the bar. If you have less than 10 foot six, because our kit is intended for a 10 foot six brake, but if you have less, you can just take a grinder or a sawzall and cut whatever excess off. So we'll put one bar one way close to the middle of the brake, and we'll take the two brackets to line ourselves up. We'll loosen the adjustment all the way to the back so that it doesn't interfere. So we'll latch them onto the brake. And this will guide us on the height that we need to set the bar. So basically, you want it to rest just flush with the top aluminum so that it rests just underneath the uh, rubber. You can clamp down one side and then we see that the other side is good. We're centered with our line. This is where we need to install it. So the next step will be to sit, take three of the self-tapping screws from the Ziploc bag. We'll take the drill, make sure you put your safety glasses on, and then we'll start drilling. So we'll drill the end with the clamp on. And we'll go to this end. Make sure we're still lined up at the top. And then drill this end. Once you're satisfied with that, you can repeat. in the middle. So as I've said before, we have all the holes are offset. So if something happened for whatever reason, you can always swap that around and they'll give you another location to redrill. So we'll keep going towards the left and then we'll repeat towards the right. So what I want to do now is I'll take the bracket and go halfway over the joint. So that'll ensure that they're both lined up perfectly. And I'll take this bracket here, flip it over. 
As you'll notice, we're a little bit short on the length, and that's intentional, just in case we need to move or we start it offset a little bit. We don't want it to stick out, so that's for the, the reason for that. So we'll make sure we're at the right height at this end, and then we'll clamp that in place. Take three more screws, and we'll repeat the process. This one's holding up pretty much in place because of the bracket. So we'll just keep on drilling. Confirm that we're good on the height here. Then we'll repeat in the middle. So one side done, then we'll get onto the other side. We'll put that one in the middle to line up the joint and we'll go to the other end. So again, you can put it one way or the other. It's really up to you. If it interferes with anything, just relocate as needed. So let's make sure you're at the right height. Repeat on this end. We see we're at the right height. Then walk to the other end and repeat. Last piece again. Line ourselves up with the bracket. I'll flip this one over here. Make sure we're at the right height. That's it. So we're done with this, done with the drill. Now there's one step left to adjust the length on the brackets. So now we need our 532nd wrench. And you'll notice here there's a Allen screw underneath. So this moves the bracket up and down. So, and that's what adjusts our distance. So make sure there's no metal shavings. And then we'll take our measuring tape and basically line yourself up on the stainless when the brake is locked in and line up your measurement. So one inch and 10 inch are lining up. I personally like to put just a little bit of pressure on tops to make sure it doesn't slide. Just snug it up. Once it's snug, twist sideways, and then you can crank it in place. Repeat the same for the other side. So line yourself up. That one's actually bang on as it is. Tighten that in place. All right, so now that we've set our stainless steel measurement, we'll need to set our black offset measurement for the cutoff tool. So again, you'll see here there's three Allen bolts. So just loosen them up. And then you'll see that this can move anywhere from one inch offset to a little over an inch and a half if you're using the factory tool. But we'll push it back to the one inch mark because that's where we'll be. So, so we'll insert a piece of coil stock in the brake. Lock your brake, take the cutoff tool, cut your piece using your cutoff tool, whether it's our two-way cutter or the factory Tapco cutter or Vanmark cutter. Once you have that cut piece, we'll relocate the brackets in front, and this will be our zero mark to calculate our offset. So we'll line it up on the, on the zero mark, and that'll give us an accurate measurement for the cutting tool. So we'll do one side, repeat on the other side. So we'll loosen that one up. And when you're satisfied, just retighten the screws in the final location. To twist the brackets, simply rotate them sideways and just let the magnet latch them back on. So it's as simple as that.